Can you really get the big hitters? A lot of people question that. The answer to that is yes, you've got to do it right. But let me give you three examples of that, two of which happened within the last week with mentees. Both of the ones this week were people that were in the top 25 richest people in the world. Pretty rarefied air up there. And you better tune your game up pretty well. But let's talk about a couple of those, and then I'll mention the third one. And the lessons learned from that. The first one was a cold call. Uh, this person was elderly, you know, obviously wealthy. Uh, the person calling, mentee, thought he might have gotten an assistant or something like that. Uh, in the beginning, a little awkward there. But he spent two or three minutes talking to him. He declined to come on the board, which was the purpose of the call. Again, there were some things that could have been done better at that area. I, at that level of person, I would have written a letter instead of cold calling, but he proved to himself that he could get through, and I've had that happen several times. If you're gonna cold call a person like that, you better have tried before to talk to other people to tune up your game because you're gonna have one shot at that call, but you can certainly do it. The second one was an interesting one. It's a mentee. He works as a waiter to uh, get some salary while he's doing the acquisition programs. And he ended up going to a restaurant, which he visits quite often, that has a bunch of celebrities, wealthy people. So as he's leaving, he sees who he thinks is Ted Turner. So he said, uh, hi, Ted, let's talk. Gives him a kind of a strange look back. He said, who are you? He said, I'm the person you're gonna sit down and talk to for a few minutes. So amazingly, he said yes. But he started off the conversation saying, I don't know who you think I am, but my name's not Ted. My name is Phil Knight. Phil Knight's the founder of Nike. Uh, older guy, uh, I think 43 billion in net worth, something like that. <clears throat> so he sat down, he talked to him for seven or eight minutes. He imparted some wisdom. He said, you're arrogant, you're cocky, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, he says, you're not very focused though from what I see. Uh, and he said, there's a few things that I want to point out. And so what Phil said to him was, this could be interesting. He said, make a list of the next day what you want to do. Every night, clear your desk before you turn in. And he said, you can get back money, but you can't get back time. And focus is really important. Jeez, does that sound familiar? Make a list the next day, Ivy Lee. Clear your desk, sundown rule. Take action, can't get back time. We've talked about that focus, all those things we've talked about. The important thing is to put those in action. So put those, it's one thing to know those things, it's another thing to act upon them. Action is absolutely the critical key. But one of the things that these people are teaching themselves from a self-image, self-esteem standpoint is they can reach these people and they can talk to these people. The third was an example of a mentee who said he wanted a billionaire on his board. He said, uh, that's what I want. So I suggested a letter, one that was overnighted. He, I asked him to draft the letter, it was a lousy letter. We ended up fixing it to a second draft, it was better, third draft, better. We looked at selling to Vito, those techniques, how to get to Vito, very important top officer, and many of those had personal assistance. So he sent 40 letters by overnight and had 17, I believe it was, responses. All of them were no, you're too small, I'm too busy, et cetera, et cetera. But he proved to himself that he could get to those people, which is a pretty valuable lesson. When most people build a board, they end up doing it within their comfort zone and shoot too low. So I would encourage you to learn from that. It uh, worked out pretty well for Phil Knight. Every night, what you're gonna do the next day, clear your desk before you go to bed, focus, take action. Pretty simple as far as intellectually to understand that. Doing it, that's the hard part, and that's what I'd encourage you to do. We recently uh, launched TikTok, so if you would go over to TikTok and go uh, to at Bruce Whipple official and give it a follow, I'd appreciate that. If you still don't know what to do or need help, go over to brucewhipple.com. There's free material there. There's courses there. Group coaching has a couple of spots that have opened up. So if you're interested in that, fill out 
the application on group coaching. But some valuable lessons, think about self-image, self-esteem, and you can reach these people. You have to uh, take action. You've got to be a little unique in how you do it oftentimes, but you can reach these people.